Good morning, everyone. A warm welcome from your sister, Christy Diaz, to the devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let us begin with our prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you this morning asking for the forgiveness of all my sins, that you cleanse me so that you may receive this prayer in your holy throne. I come before you this day thanking you, O God, for the faith that we have received to believe in you, because there are so many things offered by this world, so many paths that we could take, events, discoveries, richness in culture, and such a wide variety of things that we can find in this world and still nothing is sufficient to fill our souls and yet it only takes one moment in your presence for our souls to feel alive and just one encounter with you is enough for our lives to be transformed i praise you lord for finding us and choosing us to be your children and so i ask dear god that you become the center of our world, that everything revolve around you, our decisions, conversations, actions, let it all be a testimony of the light you placed in our hearts, and it all be glorified for you are worthy. Our hearts overflow with gratitude, and we praise your name. Bless your church, and draw us closer to you, because all these things I have asked in Jesus' name, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, a Place with Jesus. It was written by Migdalia Ayala and translated by Nelson Vitus. This devotional comes from the book Mesa de Fe, page 173. And our biblical base is found in the book of Matthew, chapter 20, verses 20 to 28. So says the word of God. Then the mother of Zebedee's sons came to him with her sons, kneeling down and asking something from him. And he said to her, What do you wish? She said to him, Grant that these two sons of mine may sit, one on your right hand and the other on the left, in your kingdom. But Jesus answered and said, You do not know what you ask. Are you able to drink the cup that I am about to drink and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They said to him, We are able. So he said to them, You will indeed drink my cup and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. But to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give, but it is for those for whom it is prepared by my father. And when the ten heard it, they were greatly displeased with the two brothers. But Jesus called them to himself and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and those who are great exercise authority over them. Yet it shall not be so among you, but whoever desires to become great among you, let him be your servant. And whoever desires to be first among you, let him be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of his holy word. A Place with Jesus. I do not want to have the ambition of the mother of Zebedee's children, because she asked the Lord to allow her sons to be one on his left and one on his right in his kingdom. But I do want to have a place with Jesus, a place at his feet where I can enjoy his sweet presence, a place in his kingdom here on earth where we can share his blessings and communion with our brethren, and then a place in heaven. I want to be where he is, where he feels happy with what I do and is not ashamed of me at all. I want my life to bear witness that I am chosen by God, that I have decided to serve and obey him. I don't want to go anywhere where my Jesus isn't present. I don't want to hear or see anything that he can't hear or see, nothing that he doesn't like. I do not want to touch what is unclean or in 
impure. I don't want my hands to be contaminated nor used to do evil. I want to please my Lord in everything I do. I want to praise him for the mercies he has shown me. I want a place with Jesus. Amen. May the Lord receive all honor and glory. And reading about all of this takes me back to the story of the Canaanite woman, a woman who was seeking Jesus' help to heal her daughter. She was a woman who ignored the feuds that existed among the Jews and the Gentiles, who had perhaps a newfound faith in Jesus by seeing the miracles or just hearing about his work, and she had mustered up enough courage to approach him. She was there, perhaps bothering them in such a way that the disciples wanted her to be sent away. So Jesus answers to her that it was not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. Who knows what our reaction would have been. But I truly believe that the Lord's grace had revealed to this woman that Jesus was the son of God and with a giant faith, She humbly replied to Jesus, Yes, Lord, yet even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. And Jesus, knowing everything about this woman, he couldn't contain his love any longer. And he told her, Let it be as you want and realize the miracle in her favor. Brothers and sisters, it is not about having the best seat. It is not about being the first. What matters is having a place with Jesus. Crumbs were enough for this woman, but our Father's grace is so abundant that he doesn't just give us that. He doesn't stop there. Instead, he has prepared a feast for us. So why not join the table to partake in all these blessings? Jesus came for that reason. He came to open the door for all those who believe in him so they may be part of this feast. But it is up to us to make that decision, to humble ourselves like this woman and draw close to him, seeking him help, believing that only He can heal us, that only He can clothe us with new white robes, and only next to Him will we be fed the heavenly manna. Thank you. 
I lay it all down again to hear you say that I am your friend. Who would have ever thought that God, the creator of this universe, the Holy One, would one day call us his friends? This is incredible, brothers and sisters. There is no one, absolutely no one like him. And that is why we willingly lay down our lives because his love has captivated us and we want nothing else but to be with him. Amen. All glory to him. And before finalizing this session, I kindly invite you to go over to our YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible readings through which our hearts are drawn nearer to our Father. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children, now and forever. Amen. Let us wake in gratitude and walk in grace.